What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Look, y'all, man, hit that like button. Cynthia G. Cynthia G is a very well-known lady in the YouTube streets. Cynthia G got a popping channel I ain't gonna hate. She got controversial shows that she like doing, controversial situations she's been in. She's in back and forth with Tommy Sotomayor, back and forth with Jesse Lee Peterson. She got back and forth with uh, um, Tyreek. She whole lot of things going on with her, you know what I mean? But to each his own, she still come back full throttle and let y'all know who she is. She ain't far. So I give it up to her. She's still here, stronger than ever. I guess I got to give it up. But she said something that was kind of weird. She said, black dudes, we simp more for Karens than we do black women. I don't know. I, I need the comment section to help me with this, but I'm going to give you my opinion. And then I'm going to give you the opinion based on the people. Now, my opinions from what I see in the world, that's actually not a fact. I'm not gonna be fake and act like they ain't thirsty brothers who see a white girl and they go crazy for. Her. This happens quite frankly. They see a Karen and they lose their mind for a Karen like crap. I've seen that. But to say that we sent more for a Karen than y'all is wild. I seen the best of the both world. I see dudes lose their mind for black females now. For 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 I'm gonna say Brenda as the black female Karen as the white female. We're gonna do it like that for YouTube purposes. Now when brothers see Brenda. They lose their mind for Brenda. They be going thirsty in the club for Brenda. We kill each other for Brenda. We, we, we all get Brenda pregnant. We all have babies with Brenda. We all do. We all sit for Brenda more than the Karens. Why do you think we got what we're going on in the community now? To say brothers are simping for the Karens, how come we have more drama and problems that are tied to Brenda than Karen? Not trying to say black women are troublesome. We can save that for another discussion. It's just more of, I know what niggas thirst level is for. You see that fat ass on Brenda or fat ass on Karen. Who you think a brother going to run towards more? I'm just keeping it real. He going to look at Brenda more. Brenda's going to be the adventure. There's nothing wrong loving Karen. But Cynthia G words were like this. We sip more for Karen versus Brenda. I don't see it like that, bro. I see niggas every day, all day, go thirstified when they see black females. Look on Instagram right now. There's so many goddamn Instagram models who are Brenda's. Forget about the Karen's. And niggas go thirst. Problem is, a lot of sisters, I'm not saying all of y'all, when a nigga displays a thirstiness level or a like or infatuated or he courts you, a lot of the Brenda's, they're always on high alert. They always got their guards up. So it's always a slick response to us or... You know, niggas just don't want to deal with all that. I'm not going to go on a, a whole lefty rant about black women because I'm not one of these dudes who hate black women. I love all women. But it's just keeping it real, bro. At the end of the day, a lot of our sisters, that y'all get extra animated, bro. Like, a nigga can walk up to a girl right now and say, how you doing, man? I think you're beautiful. How are you doing today? She'll give you the whole stink face or the attitude off the top where you have a Karen. I'm not saying Karen doesn't do the same. I'm not one of these lame niggas <laughs> that act like Karen is this golden, golden heaven. Because Karen does trip out too, but I'm telling you different approach maneuvers. If you approach Karen, even if she don't like you, she might give you the fake smile or the... Or to let you know, I'm, I'm not feeling you, please don't approach me or things like that. But a Brenda, she got to make the whole world know she don't fuck with you. Like, ew, what you looking at me like? Ugh. Oh, like that. She's animated, bruh. She gets you out your element, bro. So it's like we do get thirsty for y'all more. But we get, sometimes we get embarrassed. We don't want to get that walk of shame. We don't want to get the whole extra, like, I might have to cuss her out because she going she gonna to flip on me, bro. These are facts. Karen, on the other hand, is just cooled out. She just talk what she got to talk about. And she keep moving. It don't make her better than Brenda. Brenda ain't better than Karen. Karen ain't better than Brenda. It's just a difference. So when you see a nigga do a certain maneuver, you got a weak nigga. When he get a Karen, he is going to sip for her. You got to remember, he's a weak nigga. He can't get no Brenda. You know what I'm saying? He like he can't stand Brenda, a matter of fact. He hates Brenda, educational purpose. So when a Karen comes around him, he, ain't, he don't speak for all. Man, let's stop doing that. Out of every 10 men, you're going to have two thirsty brothers who's going to sip for Karen. I'll keep it very honest. Every 10 niggas that Brenda produces as kids, when they turn up the men, at least two of them dudes are going to be thirsty as hell for Karen. These are the niggas that got made fun of in class 
Brenda never gave him a chance. Brenda came to a nigga like me who was confident, and the nigga used to hate what we had going on. Every day he used to just hate. You remember the teacher was white. She used to love him, give him respect. So he grew up slowly loving Karen. And it's to the point when he's with Karen now, Karen makes him feel good. She make him feel fresh. She make him feel rejuvenated. What's that word we love saying? Rejuvenated. He got his mojo back. Austin Power style, right? He got his spirit back because he could talk funky to her. He could do X, Y, and Z. I'm not saying all Karens go for it, but this is the thirst level that Cynthia G is confusing. So is Cynthia G wrong saying that brothers go crazy for Karen? No. She should have articulated it better and said, some dudes lose their mind for Karen. Yeah, I would agree with her. But to say most black, bro, that's wild, bro. Oh, damn near all of us go crazy for Karen. Cynthia G, I think you're speaking from an insecure standpoint. And I see brothers do the same thing too. So I'm, this is me speaking on both women and men. When you see people, a lot of us like getting insecure. So our insecurities get the rants and bullshit that has nothing to do with what you've seen today. So you're gonna have a Cynthia with the G situation. She gonna get on this. She gonna speak her piece. She gonna tell you to turn up. Is these weak ass niggas this and thirsty niggas that, simplified niggas that. But when you look at the dudes who follow Cynthia G's and agree with her, wouldn't it be fair for people to call them simps of Cynthia? The guy that got Cynthia G pregnant, is it fair to call him a simp? Th did he get a white girl pregnant? I mean, it's like you saying, because you got a black baby daddy now. We all know who he is. I'm not going to speak about him right now. But you have a black baby daddy now. So is this nigga a simp for white women? Are you letting us know your brother is about to leave you? <laughs> your, or should I say your baby daddy? He about to leave you for a carry? Sometimes things that happen in our life, we make it the topic of the day. So let's just keep it real and break it all loose. Cynthia, talk to me. Did your baby daddy bring a Karen to the house? Did he bring Becky with the good hair that got you turned up? <laughs> Did he come with Becky with the good hair and something happened and you was like, I'm gonna talk about this today? I feel like that's what happened though. Cause you of all people who dated white men, it just seems irrational for you to go on this airwave and say that black dudes go crazy for Karens. Cause black men can say the same thing about black women, educational purpose. We can say when y'all see a white dude, y'all wanna have baby with the good hair and all that. But I don't say that. That's why, cause it's to each his own. I don't care about all that. I don't worry about what dude is sleeping with a white black or what black woman is sleeping with white black or what white woman is sleeping vice versa. That's crazy. That's how you know who ain't happy in their relationships when they look at what they're going on and they take that outlook and throw it on everybody's relationship or everybody that's living. You cannot say that everybody did what you think they're doing based on what Robert is doing to you because Robert is her baby daddy. So just because Robert loved Becky with the good hair, you caught this nigga watching maybe some white pornos or, or maybe you caught this nigga because, you know, he's a YouTube personnel too. I haven't seen him lately. You know, maybe this nigga, he done build up a following of white women behind the scenes and Cynthia's seen him. She's snapping now. She want all of us to be mad with her. She's like, man, the hell with black dudes. Yeah, I know this story, man. We all know this story, Cynthia. We all seen this already. You are very, look, Cynthia, y'all always make fun of Cynthia G. I think she's an attractive woman. I know y'all gonna laugh at me. She got nice breasts. You know, she look good. Like she look like a healthy woman. So I don't know why she has problems in the relationship department. You know what I'm saying? But some of it might be your attitude, mama. Like, smooth out a little bit, man. Like, slow down. You have a lot of hostility in you. The fact that you're worried about brothers simping for Karen is already your downfall. Because a real Brenda ain't even worried about a Karen. A Brenda says to herself every day, all day, Brenda can't compete. Uh, um, a Brenda says uh, Karen can't compete with her all day, every day. That's what a real Brenda, a real woman is saying. And even a Karen, a Karen ain't worrying about a Brenda and a Brenda ain't worrying about a Karen. So when you see both sides clash and worrying about each other, you ain't happy. <laughs> something your dude is doing to you got something going on and we got to fall back from that and, and stay steadfast, stay the course. Yeah, shit, yeah. So when I see a Cynthia G, I only could tell you, I hope whatever you and your baby daddy got going on, things get better for you. Unfortunately, it looked like a sad situation is going on. So I just hope a lot just work out for you, mama. I hope it, it turns out to be the very best. And we can see a better Cynthia G than she's always having the same segments. But if that floats your boat, then do what you do, Cynthia G. I'm just here to tell y'all, look, 
not everybody flows towards this female or that. Like, we got to fall back from that and take it easy right quick. Ease up a little bit. You know what I mean? Look, man, I'm your God blessed one, man. <laughs> love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed, man. Shit.